Abilities like Matthew's might come in very handy in our line of work. That's true. Ira agrees. As a matter of fact, he's becoming a little insecure about his job. But look at this. I got a four-page printout this morning entitled Dependable Printed Circuitry Versus Inexplicable Phenomena. Do you believe that? <laughs> oh, he's too much. Now, about your punishment. Punishment? That's right, punishment for staying on an assignment after specific orders not to. Steve, I had to prove that Colonel Decker lied about me, and you know it. Colonel Decker is now Private Decker. As far as your punishment is concerned, I'm sorry, Diana, but I'm going to have to insist. That you take a real vacation. Plane tickets, hotel reservations, and specific orders to have the time of your life. Steve, I don't want to go. Go. Well, there's no suntan lotion in here, and I, and I burn very badly. I don't have anything to read. No, no books. No books. <sighs> no film for my camera. Cute. Well, you want to go with me? <laughs> Discovery will make me the biggest man in the world. Pure, distilled, shrinking water. What's it do? 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 It shrinks things. One squirt will shrink a six-foot man down to the size of my thumb. <laughs> yeah, but will it work? Of course it will work. Everything I do works. Think of it. Everyone on Earth will be the size of my thumb. I will be the biggest man in the world. You're gonna put it in a water gun? No, I'm going to put it in a squirting flower. Far more artistic. <laughs> Come, we'll try it out. <laughs> Come along, Fido. Good afternoon, sir. Would you care to sniff my flower? No, I certainly do not want to sniff your flower. Simon says, sniff. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Take him home, Fido. Put me down, put me down. Okay, Harry, haul away. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Pardon me. Would you care to sniff my flower? What? Are you some kind of character? Can't you see I got my hands full? Beat it! Simon says, sniff! <laughs> All over the country, people will shrink, and Simon Bar Sinister will be the biggest man in the world. Yeah, but what about you know who? Who? Underdog. I have a plan for him. We'll capture Sweet Polly, and then when Underdog comes to rescue her, sing! He'll shrink until he's no bigger than a hot dog. <laughs> Good morning, Sweet Polly. Care to sniff my flower? Simon Bar Sinister, get away from me with your silly old flower. 
Simon says, sniff. <laughs> now, me proud beauty. Scream good and loud so Underdog can hear you. Sweet Polly. When Polly's in trouble, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. <laughs> well, he should be here any minute now. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Help! Help! Care to sniff my flower? I have a feeling there is a trick. To rescue Polly, I must be quick. Simon says, sniff! <laughs> At last, I have you in my power, underdog. Into the cage. Now I'm going out and become the biggest man in the world. <laughs> oh, underdog, what shall we do? I still am strong, as you shall see. I'll bend the bars and set us free. My hero. You stay here all safe and sound while I go down and look around. I'm coming with you. Catch me, underdog. Underdog went to work to set the trap. Flying back to the table, he threw down a large ball of twine. And working as fast as possible, he stretched it several times across the doorway. What a brilliant idea, Underdog. Simon and Cat will trip over this and fall, and then we can run. Simon says, sniff. <laughs> Simon says, sniff. Oh, this is much too slow. I've only shrunk 15 people in the last hour. Not very good production. I've got it. My cloud machine. I'll make a big cloud out of shrinking water. Then, when it rains, everybody will shrink. <laughs> Come, Cad. We'll go get the cloud machine. this hole. Good. We'll just push a rock over the hole, and that will take care of them. Oh, that was close, but we're safe at last. I could not have run for very long. I'm afraid a lot of my power has gone. Well, we should be safe in here. <coughs> Underdog, look! Quick, see if you can push the rock away from the opening. 
I can't. When Simon shrunk us, your strength must have shrunk too. Without my strength, I fear we're done. The only thing to do is run. Oh, hurry, underdog, hurry. Down this other corridor. In my ring, I fill with an underdog energy vitamin pill. Of course. I forgot. Here. Here they come. That is clear. Now let's find some way out of here. And looking around through the earth with his atomizing eyes, Underdog quickly located the right corridor, and he and Polly were soon approaching daylight. Oh, I can't wait to get out of this awful place. And I'm so hungry. I've got to have something to eat. Look, Underdog, cheese. Someone's left a big piece of cheese right by the opening. Oh, I love cheese. Wait, don't. This trap was meant for rats, not you, so please be careful. Help! When Polly's in trouble, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. <laughs> Simon was high on a hilltop with his cloud-making machine, ready to send a cloud of pure shrinking water over the city to shrink everyone to the size of his thumb. <laughs> it's going to rain, rain, rain! Size my thumb. I'm the biggest man in the world. Uh, what about me, boss? I'm bigger than you. Hmm? <laughs> well, well. So you are. My, 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 my. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Simon says shrink. <laughs> Now I am the biggest man in the world. We're in Simon's control. He can make us do everything. He could step on us. 
us. What'll we do? There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Hey! Hey! Yeah, but what can you do? You got shrunk, too. I'm getting out of here. Me, too. Me, too. Wait. Fair or foul weather, we must all stick together. Now, here is my plan. Shh. There's Simon resting. But how are you going to put him asleep? Watch. Ouch! Shrink him down to size. And now another dose, so he, the smallest in the world, will be. Simon, till he says what the cure for shrinking is. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> So Simon told them what the cure was, and soon everyone was back again to his regular size, including our hero. Look, up in the sky, it's a plane! It's a bird! It's a frog! A frog? Not plane, not bird, nor even frog. It's just little old me. Underdog. <laughs> Underdog.